to Believe, where we are discussing topics regarding true success, money and business, health and wellness, our universe, world news, and that's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure to check us out on our website at believe.love. Mm -hmm. Like us on Facebook at Facebook forward slash believe loves you. YouTube as well. YouTube, you can um, yes. su subscribe youtube.com forward slash believe loves you. Because we do. We do. Well, we're going to give you some great stuff today. And I'm so happy that Miss Vanessa is here with me today. Hello, everyone. Hi. And I'm glad to be joining we Karen are today. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. We are here to inspire you. Yes. And give you the news and let you decide and... Be successful. Yes. <laughs> and help you succeed. Absolutely. And, and bring you the truth. Yes. We want truth. to bring you the truth. That's right. We work so hard bringing you guys the truth. Yes. So join us today as we talk about, let's start off with true success. It's a great place to start. Yeah, let's do it. So I came upon an article that was talking about um, how to not be offended. The art of not being offended on upliftconnect.com. Okay. So today I just want to share with you guys like um, what the, the writer was actually saying, just some topics. And also mention the uh, former President Obama, how he actually was able to like just shake it off. If you yeah. may. like all those, you know, all the jokes about, you know, the funny tweets with Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Kimmel or the mean tweets with Jimmy Kimmel about how, you know, he, he reads the tweets. I mean, <laughs> some are pretty mean. Like I can't yeah. not imagine they were like, he should just get on a plane and yeah. leave. <laughs> and like, thanks, Obama. I mean, come on. I mean, that's... Why, Obama? Yeah. To like, I mean, then to do that on national television, that's pretty awesome. And not be affected or, you know, he, he, he just goes on, you know? Yeah. You have to be able to laugh at yourself. Yes. You have to not take yourself so seriously all yes. the time. I have to tell that was cool. that all the time. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. But funny feels better. Funny does feel better. <laughs> you know, funny feels better. So, again, we want to help you succeed. So let's... Um, actually, we're just going to go down some of the things that the article talked about and then just kind of fill in our own little thing here, you know. Um, so one of the things that the red talked about was nothing is personal. Per personal. <laughs> so one of the topics or one of the traits to not be offended is to look at things as not being personal. Like, yeah. How many times do we, you know, get upset because someone cuts us off on the road or jumps in front of us online? And the reality is like. You know, we, that person probably doesn't even know who we are. Exactly. <laughs> you know, so it's not personal. I mean, is it irritating? Yeah. Definitely, definitely. And do we get upset? Yeah. You know, because it's rude or whatever, you know, but we have to learn how to not take it personally. But it's hard. It's not easy. But if you remember to tell yourself that, mm -hmm. it gets easier, you know? It's so true. That's something that I've, like, always told myself, like, I don't know, if someone else is angry, if someone else is, like, lashing out, they're violent, they're hostile, I feel like... It says more about them and their experience than it does about you. Yeah. Like we, our first reaction is like, oh my gosh, like why did she come at me or why did she say that to me or why did they, you know? Yeah. And it's like, how many of us really like flip it to the other side and be like, okay, what is she going through? Maybe she's going through a tough time in her life right now and that's why she's reacting like yeah. that. You know, I always try to do that when I'm that's the truth. a really weird situation. Yeah, don't don't take it personally yeah. because sometimes it's, it's really not always about us. You know, nope. it really nope. isn't. No, I would share that. that. That's so true. And you're right. It that is the, what we're supposed to do that you like, it, you know, initially don't get be hard on yourself because we're, we're we, you know, we're always going to be like, <clears throat> OK, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me, <laughs> they're probably like you said, yeah, they're going through stuff. Going through life. Stuff. Life happens. Right. Yeah, it really does. And that, that's happens. if you can, you know, keep that in the back of your mind. Nothing is personal. That that helps. And then mm -hmm. he also mentions study of the soul. Um, that. That says, yes, this is psychodynamic, but let's face it, we, that we live in a world of psychodynamics, which is what makes a world go round. So, like, psycho, like psychology, stud, studying the psychology of why we do the things that we do. So, study the soul, meaning, like, he's saying, what is he saying, actually? <laughs> I'm so sorry, because psych, psychosomatic, where you're studying the mind and what we do, like, studying the soul. It's maybe getting to understand yourself. Ah, yes, yeah, thank you. Yeah, what he's saying? Uh, yes. Thank you. See, I don't know what. When okay, we hello. study the soul, when we yes. study, or when we're invested in psychology, which is like I'm, I was, I almost was a psychology major. Oh. Actually, I'm so interested in psychology. Okay, there you go. And like, <laughs> I think that 
when we get to know the behaviors of the mind or, you know, of we're getting to know ourselves. And if we're getting to know ourselves, we're getting to know the next person, too. That's what that means. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because, I mean, I, I knew it a minute and I, and, I, and I was starting to read this and it wasn't making sense. But what you said made sense. So, yeah. yeah that, okay. Yeah. So study the soul. You know, the mirror. It's like a mirror. You know yes, what I mean? Like, yes. That's all, like, yeah. Okay. That, that's study it. the soul. Yes. And then, like you said, actually, one of the things he mentions, are they hurting? Yes. <laughs> are they hurting? Yep. That's, like, that's like my mm-hmm. first thing that I, I think of. Yep. First I, thing. Yeah. They, like, I've, like, that hurting people hurt people, that whole saying, like. Misery loves company. Yeah. Good. Absolutely. <laughs> that was pretty good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Then, no self to harm. So, like. Oh, okay. True compassion does not allow us to harm ourselves either. Yeah. So, not being offended, not only saying you know, do all these things outside, but then for yourself. Yeah, don't beat yourself up. Oh, right? boy. Okay. okay, how many times? Yeah, that's, I mean, and that is, I don't I've know about you. There. Okay, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, yeah, that's that's a tough one. So uh, what could we do if, if we're, we're we, like, we got offended, right? Yeah. Like, we're, maybe we're in a situation, and then now we're offended. Like, what would we do? Is there anything we can do? Yes. Like, to get ourselves out of that? Like, would there be any tips you might... Like, well, uh, well something that also was mentioned was um, the whole, like, talking to yourself to not get offended. So, like, if you're already offended, somebody had made you mad, like, you're either going to tell yourself, okay, I'm really angry, and this person just cut me off, what the heck is wrong with me? Or you can tell yourself, okay, whoop, I need to back up because this person obviously is late for work, and I need to get... You know, you have to, like, talk yourself out of... That's probably maybe the first thing, but... Yeah, talk, like talk your, okay. reverse pedal yourself, yes. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Okay. And then to put others in the offender's shoes, which is, you know, what, you know, what basically they could be going through something. So back off, you know, they don't, don't imagine that they could be going through something. Same thing. Right. Okay. Yeah. And then um, learn humility. This is pretty good. So it says a well-known re- religious leader once said that whenever he hears that he has offended someone, his first response is to stop and think, in fact, if me, he may have done something to hurt that person. Now, mm-hmm. that's good. We didn't. Th- I didn't even think about that. Yeah. That, okay, hold, whoa, wait, what did we do? Rather than just ignore and say, oh, that person's probably, maybe, okay. Exactly. Maybe, maybe. After that, you have to come back to yeah. yourself. Analyze yourself. That's true. I left that out. But yeah. you definitely, that's the huge yeah. part of it, too. You, you do. You have to. Yeah. Because maybe we did do there. something. Really, okay, did I have, like, because I know, like, you know, sometimes like my boyfriend and I will have a conversation and he'll say something to me and maybe the look on his face or something was just, you know, something that bothered me. But then I'm like, oh, maybe maybe the tone that I said it was something that rubbed him the wrong way. Mm-hmm. And so I have to think about it. Did I did I say that in a way? Exactly. That was it loving or whatever? Or? Yeah. But not saying that, you know, not to ruminate in it, but to take a moment and just check. You yeah. Know? And then. Accept imperfection. Oh, that's a hard one. Okay. It's <laughs> a hard and one. And not just them, people's. Ourselves are, as well? Yeah. Because, you know? That's a hard one. Yeah. Because, you know, like, Obama. <laughs> you know, the ears thing, I mean, his ears are big ears. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, so he can he be like, you know, I accept that I'm not perfect. Yeah. Well, I mean, because these are, you know what I'm saying? Like, accept imperfection. Go ahead and make fun of my ears. You know what? I love them yeah you know what I'm absolutely saying? that that's awesome you know Embrace accepting your, yourself. Uh, your uniqueness yeah what it, makes us different exactly and like you know just the most important thing nothing is personal there's power in being able to stop yourself from going in that direction and maybe rationalizing mm-hmm. you know and that whole thing like you know i don't know if you ever saw george bush like back in the day he said Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And I know he said it totally wrong. But no, seriously. The, One but, of the most ridiculous speeches yeah, ever. <laughs> yeah, but it was so funny. I remember it. I yeah. remember it. But, what, you know, fool, but fool me once. Okay, look, I'm offended. I'm going to act like a fool. You know, fool me once, shame on you. Know, shame on me. Whatever. Fool me twice. I'm sorry. Shame on you shame for on being you. mean. And then fool me twice, shame on me. Because you know what? I'm hurt. I'm, I'm paying attention. Exactly. And I shouldn't be offended. You know, if I'm going to be offended, shame on me. But yeah. So <laughs> 